What is going on guys, my name is 4G and today I'm going to be talking about my skin collection. Someone suggested it in the comment section, you know what I thought? This is going to be a good idea for a video, so you know what? Shout out to them because that is a great, great video idea. Alright, so, pretty much, I'm going to be talking about everything that I have in my collection. I'm going to try to do it under 10 minutes because I already made this video, but it lasted about half an hour. And that is just too long to render and upload and no one's going to watch a half an hour video. So we're going to be talking about this as fast as I possibly can and that's why I'm talking so fast right now. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame, so it might be nice to own a jet plane. So, let's go into the locker and, alright, the Black Knight. Amazing skin from Season 2 and if they ever bring it back, I'm uninstalling this game. The Galaxy skin. The main reason this this whole collection of skins goes up to two thousand dollars just saying that right now it's an amazing skin that everyone wants and i can understand why yes it's animated and everything and uh yeah all right sparkle specialist another season two skin that i absolutely love and i use it occasionally it's pretty good and i, I just love enjoy it sun Strider, do i really gotta say anything about this skin i mean there's a reason that i use this skin as my profile picture clearly i love this skin all right amazing skin so happy it's added and uh can't wait till after season 5 when no one really uses it anymore. Alright. Blue Team Litter. A skin that I got from the PlayStation. I'm sure everyone has this. Everyone who has a PlayStation or linked up their PlayStation. Um, because I made a video on this. Got some good views actually. It's probably one of the best videos I've made in a while in the sense of view count. So, yeah. Battlehound. It's a great looking skin. It is. But uh, I don't use it too often. Not a fan of this skin. Just because of the fact that when I see this skin, I see a noob running around. To be honest with you. Chomp Senior could be so much better if it didn't have Jonesy's face sticking out of it. Anyways, Criterion, not the best skin. Really not. Don't know why I bought it, but whatever. It could be an epic. I don't believe it's going to be legendary, or it should be a legendary, is my point. The legendary cuddle team leader that everyone knows and loves, alright? So, not much to say about this skin. Everyone knows about this skin. Everyone loves this skin. Alright, not everyone, of course, but... Most people do. That's why they brought it into the shop a thousand goddamn times. <laughs> Alright. So next, the Dark Voyager. This is a skin that I think that everyone and their mother wanted. Other than the fact that... The, the, the John Wick was so much better, man. I'm gonna just skip that. The Dark Voyager. A skin that I think that the... That everyone wanted. Everyone that I knew wanted this skin more than the freaking John Wick skin. And I don't know why. Like... John Wick is so much better. Anyways, Drift, an amazing skin that I absolutely love, but so overused. I mean, look at this skin. It's just, it's so cool. It's probably one of the best customizable skins that we actually have, and I just really like that skin a lot. The Enforcer, it's a cool skin and all, but I haven't used him too often. Of course, you get him for doing seven weeks of challenges in Season 5. Fate, great skin. Absolutely love this skin. That's why I bought it, but... I don't use her that often because I've been, uh, you know, obsessed with using Sunstrider and the Galaxy skin. The first Twitch Prime pack that you got, you got Havoc, and uh, it's a pretty cool skin, it is, uh, but it is just a recolor of the Raptor. Heim, this is actually a really nice skin, I really like it, but I mainly got it for the back bling because the back bling is a cat back bling and I really think that's really cool. Leviathan, ah, uh, good skin, but... Not, not the actual body, it's a good skin. I mean, the head is pretty cool. Like, that's the only reason I bought it at the time. Uh, I didn't really realize how awful the actual body would look in-game. That's why I don't use it, and that's why I don't see it too often. The skin that everyone bought only for the back bling. Let's be real, guys. Magnus. It's a good skin, but I don't use it too often. That's what you're going to hear a lot in this video. Just so you guys know. And, uh, yeah. Musha. Great skin. Really like it, but the back bling is awful, and that's why I got Haima. Or Haim, not Haima. <laughs> I said Haima because there's an uh, at the end of this one, but anyways. Uh, if you got this far into the video, you guys can hit that like button, subscribe button, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all my latest content. That would help a lot. Alright, back to the video. So Oblivion is a skin that everyone thought, you know, you're just copying Omega, and it is true. They do that with every freaking skin. I'm pretty sure they'll do something with Ragnarok, too, uh, in the next few months, or not months, weeks, sorry. Omega, great skin. It's only if you got to level 80, though, in my opinion. But, you know, my opinion. The main thing in this video is my opinion. Like, that's the main thing I gotta say. Because it's all opinionated. Omen, like it, but the back bling was so much better. And as, now that we got better back blings, now that we got Ragnarok. So, kind of a waste. Panda Team Leader, do I gotta really say anything, guys? Anything that has to do with these 
bear skins are just so cool. And it just relates to Cuddle Team Leader, and it's just iconic to Fortnite. Power Cord, the skin that everyone wanted since March. I don't know why it took them this long, other than to bring a demand to the skin and make people want it even more by keeping it out of the shop. That's the only thing I can think of, because this is a very, a very nice skin. Amazing skin, guys. Probably one of the best maxed out Battle Pass skins we've got. Not true at all. Black Knight and I think John Wick actually look nicer. In my opinion. My opinion, alright. But, still. Alright, not John Wick, but John Wick's cool still. Alright. Black Knight does not. You can't beat the Black Knight. The, the Raptor, alright. Very iconic skin. Not much to say about it. The Ravage. Um, this is a nice skin. It is, but I don't know. I don't really like it for the skin. I like it for those wings, of course. Because those wings match the... First of all, it goes really well with the Galaxy skin and, of course, the Raven. Like we're going to talk about right now. This is a skin that was very overly hyped. Very overly hyped. So, yeah. Alright, the Red Knight. The Red Knight is a nice skin, but I don't really like it anymore when everyone's running around with it now. It's just, it's not as good as it used to be. It's not. The Rose Team Litter. Great skin. You got it from purchasing Save the World, and I don't think you can get it anymore. Actually, I think you had to purchase Save the World before they added the skin in, but it's really cool nonetheless. Sky Stalker. It's a nice skin, but there's nowhere near... Like, it, there's no way this could be a, a freaking legendary. This is like an epic, alright? Because, I mean, look. Look at Technique down here. Sorry, not Technique. <laughs> Abstract. I got the two confused. It's the same type of skin. It's just different genders. Um, but look at Abstract here, and then look at this. They're basically the same thing. They have masks on, and I didn't mean to accept that or whatever, but... Whatever. Sky Stalker and Abstract. Really cool, you know? But Abstract is where he should be as an epic. Not uh, where Sky Stalker is. But anyways... We got the legendary John Wick and the Visitor. The Visitor is a letdown. Not even going to talk about it too much. The only thing that's cool is you can change his face. Yeah. That's it. Dresserops, not a huge fan. Just joking, I love this skin. Uh, this skin's amazing. Um, I'm just so used to saying not a huge fan because I just looked at the Visitor and uh, yeah, I buy a lot of skins. I, I like it first and then I tend to uh, slowly not like it in the future. Valor. Great skin, didn't like it at first, but this, this is actually one that I didn't like at first, but I started liking as I got her, and I uh, used her a few games, and I thought, you know what, this is a pretty cool skin, you know. Alright, Vertex, not legendary worthy at all, not at all. If I could get a refund for him now, I would. Warpaint, another Save the World skin that you got for buying Save the World. Wild card. This is a new skin that I'm sure everyone knows about right now because it just came out, and uh, it's a pretty cool skin, it really is, but um, at the same time, it's not, um, it's not the best, um, because of the fact that it basically just copies John Wick. I mean, look, look, guys, you can see it's the exact same suit, it's just white. It's identical. I don't like that. <laughs> hey, it's John Wick's body, basically, just with a mask and everything. Maybe it is John Wick under there, who knows. But anyways, guys, Wukong. Only got him for that nice... Uh, back bling, because the back bling is actually very nice. Alright guys, so I'm not going to be talking about these epic skins too much in this video. Uh, I talked about them previously in a previous take that I did of this video, and it just took way too long, guys. Like, way longer than I expected, and it was just not... It's not good. You know, I don't want to record a 40-minute video for you guys, and obviously no one's going to watch it because who's going to sit through a 40-minute video about someone talking about skins? So I wanted to keep this relatively short, and the only way I could do that is by not talking individually about these skins because there are way too many skins in my collection right now. And by the way, guys, I made this video because someone uh, asked me to in the comment section. Not trying to show off or anything, not going to seem like that guy trying to show off because I have skins in a game. Like, that's not... That's not my point of this video. Just so you guys are aware of that. I'm only making this video because uh, I thought it was a good idea and someone suggested it. Only two reasons. Not because I'm trying to show off. Gotta make that clear, guys, because I don't want people thinking of me like that. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed, hit that like button down below as it really does help out the channel. And uh, subscribe for more awesome daily Fortnite content such as this. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.